This is Conversations with Dupree. Thank you for tuning in. This is your first time. I want to welcome you to this segment. And if this is your first time, go to Twitter and follow me, Dupree Shami, on Twitter. You can follow Social Therapy Number One on Twitter. And on Instagram, follow Social Therapy IG on Instagram. Thank you guys for tuning in. The day we're going to be talking about is what do you regret? Um, in your life, if there's anything that you might have regret, whether it's you know relationships, careers, or dealing with people, uh, or etc. You know, because you know when you sometimes regretting things, you learn from trial and error. We're regretting what you may have done when dealing with a certain situation. And I want to say is that, you know, when you could regret, just say for an example, you met friends and come to find out your friend was your friend stole from you and you found out that the person stole from you. Um, In the beginning, you probably thought this was your first you know this was your friend and you know you probably put a trust in that person and come to find out the person uh betrayed your trust stole from you um and sometimes you can have regret that i'm not saying that you can't meet new people or meet new friends but you have to be very careful and with all, all that you do in those certain situations so you you definitely want to um you know be careful in that regret um i can say that in my lifetime i regret different people that i might have met you know not that i met that i have met and uh learned from you know the situations where you know people you know stole from me um you know, you put a trust, you try to help those people. And, you know, I, I have made, I made a lot of wrong decisions when it came to having a publication online, as well as uh, a publication magazine where, you know, I had wrong people in my team and I learned a valuable lesson from that. So that was what I regret. But you learn from them experiences, you know, dealing with all different type of people uh, in the industry. So, yeah, that was one thing I regret. Um, Hey, have you ever regretted being in a relationship? Whether maybe maybe good or bad, you just say, you know, you was in a relationship and the person, you know, you thought that loved you the way you loved them and you found out the person cheated on you or you went through their phone or you went through their DMs and a social media page and you found this person was cheating on you, was telling you all these lies and they were they wasn't being honest but the whole time you was giving a hundred a hundred percent in the relationship and you thought the person was meeting you halfway across the bridge. And they wasn't even giving you, they wasn't giving you a hundred percent. So those things does happen and those can be a regret. And what I say to you is that when you meet someone, it's very important to do a deep background check. Sometimes people can play it so good where it may seem so everything seems so good so so good to be true and they had some secrets that they was hot they they was hiding from you so i think it's important first to if you you get into a relationship be friends first um you want to basically just kind of get to know this person try to do everything you possibly can nowadays you got to do background checks on uh, the person you're getting involved with because you could be getting involved with someone who could be maybe mentally have mental issues who you know who maybe just be really 
are, are, are on the edge that you, you, you don't even know what their personality is. They may be having something that they have done that can put you in harm's way or can may harm you. So I think it's important to just, you know, get to know the person and, and kind of see by doing a deep research on them, you know, before you get involved. Because those can be regrets. And I think a lot of people may have regrets on relationships or maybe marriage as well. You know, there could be some heartache and pain in, in those situations where you find out the person um, you spent all this time with this person being in a marriage and come to find out the person cheated, you know, and and or there's there's times when it comes where people they're couple you know couples that might cheat on cheat on you with their their relatives or or you know the case may be which is insane but these things has happened these things happening right now as we speak these things happening every day in your lifetime so um that's can be what you regret you know far as getting involved you know with that okay and the second thing you know when you're dealing with careers it's very very deep uh that's another 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 conversation when you're dealing in career sometimes you may say you regret um applying for this or you know finishing school finishing college with your master's or phd you know or you know just basically you get into a, a, a career field that is not what you expect it to be and you regret just taking taking that that road, taking that field, pursuing that, and things don't go right. It could be a situation where it's your boss at the job, higher up at the job, or a coworker, and you 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 dealing with stuff that you might not be happy because there's millions of people, thousands of people that's not happy on the type of job that they're doing. Whether it's a lower job, whether it's working at Walmart, Amazon, or whether it's working at a fast food chain, or whether it's doing hard labor, or whether it's working at a warehouse, or cleaning cleaning outside, or a sanitation worker. There's a lot of jobs that sometimes can have ups and downs, and you, you're you going to deal with a lot of stuff. No matter what job you go to, you're going to deal with individuals, dealing with different personalities. It may not be peaches and cream. You might, you know, got your degree in the field and, and it's, it may pay good, but then it's, it could be so overwhelming, you know, with the field that you're in because you're dealing with, sometimes you're dealing with people that's not working as a team to make things better and make organize in that, in that area, in that job, you know. So those things can happen and you can, that could be, what you regret, like, you know, taking that field. But what I say is that you can always, you're not, you're not locked in any of these, those jobs. You just have to kind of not leave that job first. You just uh, apply for something else and something else comes through. Then you leave that job. But it's always wise not to just walk off the job when you know, and that's your income coming in. Some people live from paycheck to paycheck. But you you want to be able to sit down with yourself and say, well, you know, what? Well, I want to see what I would love to do. You know, I might want to be a travel a, a travel agent. I might want to be a, a real estate agent or a consultant. You know, there are so many different avenues that you can take. You know, you, you're not locked in or you're not um, uh, hold against your will because you had a job that you may not be happy with, you know, kind of sit down and write stuff out that you, what you might want to do as far as a career choice, that's going to make you happy where you can wake up every day and get excited about. So, um, yeah, sometimes we can regret the choices that we make, but doesn't, that doesn't make us, uh, bad people. That doesn't make us, um, uh, you know, make us short of our comings of what we can be truly great and what we can accomplish. Don't never limit yourself. Keep, keep expanding, keep building and keep, uh, keep everything that you want to do in life. Uh, just be optimistic. And that's the, that's what the very important thing is today. So that's what we regret was the topic. 
what you regret. If you have any comments, please feel free to subscribe to Social Therapy Mag, where you can listen to the video as well. Social Therapy Mag on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel, like, share, comment, and hit the notification bell. I thank you so much, guys, for the conversations with Dupree. And also check out Pretty Candles is on Walmart now. You can go to the link on Social Therapy IG or Twitter, Social Therapy One, or on Instagram, Social Therapy One or Pretty Candles on Instagram with a P-R-E-E-T-Y candles. And subscribe and purchase a, a Pretty Candles kit. What you get a Pretty Candles kit, you get you get 12 candles. You you get the Chanel, you get the Amber, you get the Lavender, you get the Peach, you get the Cinnamon Apple, and you get Pineapple Paradise. And this is a great extra new extra revenue stream. If you would like to be an entrepreneur, you like to sell candles, trust me. For right now, right now we have 20% off on a Walmart uh, dot com. So what you do is you can get it for 50 to 80 uh, free shipping. There's tweets 20% off right now, limited time. So and also we on the website at www.prettycandles.com. So please purchase these great smelling gel candles. You will not be disappointed and, and share the word, spread the word. Again, this is Dupree Conversations with Dupree brought to you by Social Therapy Mag. Thank you all guys for tuning in and I'll see you next Tuesday. Have a great day.